Dual rear button autofocus, EOS R5 tutorial. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having amazing creative days and if you're not, take a look at the videos on this channel and hopefully they inspire you to get a little more creative. So with that being said, this video is all about dual rear button focus and I'm using the EOS R5 in this video, but Canon's menu settings are pretty consistent across all cameras. So I assume you could probably do this with the R7, the R6 and the R3. So if you have those cameras, check out your menus and if everything lines up, hey, there you go. You can do dual rear button autofocus as well. Now, usually everyone knows about rear button focus. So you use the back button here to focus on your subject and the shutter release to take the photo. Now, with dual rear button focus, you have two options. You can use one button to focus or track on eyes and you can use the other button to do subject tracking. So if you wanna do like a single shot recompose kind of thing, you can do that with the two buttons. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And of course, if you like this kind of content, definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up. I'm working hard to grow this channel and I would really appreciate your support. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the menu. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to your autofocus tab, page one, and you wanna scroll down to where it says continuous AF and you wanna disable that. Now, the R5 and I guess the other cameras too, they have two focus modes. You have one shot and AI servo. So one shot is you focus and it takes the shot and servo is like continuous autofocus where the camera's always tracking something. So if you're tracking someone's eye, you want it in continuous autofocus. Now there's also this other setting here in the menu called continuous AF. And what that is, is sort of like, you can think of it as a pre-focus. So if you're moving your camera around and you're pointing at different things, it's gonna constantly be focusing on things so that the LCD display or EVF always shows whatever you're looking at in focus. Because with an optical viewfinder, when you look through, everything's always in focus, but with these EVFs, they're really reliant on the lens to actually focus to give you a clear image. So what you wanna do is disable that, and I'll tell you about why you need to do that as we set this up. So that's step one, is turn continuous AF off. So that means now that if your screen's blurry, whatever you're pointing at, you're gonna to have to touch the shutter release in order to uh, actuate the focus. All right, next up, we are going to go into the uh, custom functions menu or the orange tab, and we're gonna to go to page three, scroll down to where it says customize buttons, click on that. So there are two buttons we're gonna set up and a third button I'm gonna show you uh, that you can use if you want. So the first one is going to be the AF on button. So we click on that and you can see here I have it on eye detection AF. So whenever I hit the AF on button, it's gonna start tracking eyes, all right? And uh, we're gonna get out of here. And now we're going to move to the star button and we're gonna set that to metering and AF start. And if you want, you can switch the two buttons around. So if you want the star button to track eyes, you can set it up for that and the AF on just to like spot focus on things. So it depends on the subject matter and what you're shooting. One button is obviously more convenient to get to than the other. So uh, that is up to you, however you wanna set that up. So let's get out of here. And the other thing I do, this, uh, where is it? This front button right here, there's a button on the other side of the lens on the camera body. And I set that up to one shot and servo. So if I wanna switch between servo mode, which is like active tracking and one shot, which is just focus and that's it. I can switch there if I need to. And that's sort of, I'll, I'll touch on that as I explain the settings, but uh, okay, so that's how I set that up. And those are the three buttons I set up. Only the first two need to be set up the way I showed you. The third one is just optional. I do that just for convenience because it's easy to switch right there. All right, so now let me show you how these settings work together with the camera to create a dual rear button focus setup. All right, so here we go. We have the R5 set up. We have the Ninja on top recording the back of the screen of the R5 so you can see exactly what I'm seeing and I can help you uh, through this tutorial here. Okay, so traditionally when you're shooting a wedding or event or that kind of thing, you have your focus mode set to eye tracking and you can see here the white box over my eye. We have our lovely model on the screen and it's tracking my eye, my face, my eye, my face and it's, I'm not doing anything. My hands are off the camera. The camera's doing everything right here. So we're gonna turn that off, but don't worry, there's a reason for that. So now we're gonna switch the focus point. Oh, and we are in servo mode, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we go to the focus point and let's say we, I don't know, let's pick this spot focus point here. Okay, so that's what we're rolling with. And remember we turned off that continuous AF. So right now, let's say 
I change my focus, the camera's not gonna refocus on anything until I touch the shutter release, or I guess in this case, I touch the button at the back, the star button, or the eye tracking. So here's the dual button focus, and here's how it works. So if we hit the AF on button, the camera's gonna track my eye, and I can take my shots, no problem. So as long as you're holding the AF on, the eye's being tracked. But let's say we wanna track a different subject that isn't an eye, we hit the star button, and now we have our focus point. So we can move our focus point, let's say to this AE1 down here, and we can take a shot. So in actuality, how this works is like this. So let's say I'm tracking the, the eye, tracking the eye, everything's going good, you know, and then all of a sudden I wanna shoot something else, but if I hit the focus button, the camera focuses on the eye, and I wanna focus on that camera. So now we switch over to this mode, and we can shoot on the camera. Now, since we are an AI servo, as long as the start button is held down, it's gonna continue focusing on whatever you want it to focus on, right? So if you wanna use the focus recompose technique, which is what's gonna work here, you wanna hit the start button, focus on the camera, recompose, you know, focus on the camera, recompose, right? So that's what you wanna do, and then back to eye tracking, hit the AF on, and the camera tracks the eye. Now, the reason we turned off that continuous autofocus is that when we hit the start button to focus on this camera, if continuous autofocus was on and we tried to recompose the shot to here, it would automatically focus on whatever the focus point is on. So because we want the depth of field to stay the same, we just touch it, focus, recompose, shoot. And that's why continuous AF is off. So this is a pretty handy little trick. I know like I shoot weddings and events and sometimes let's say for example, we have a situation where the bride and the groom, let's say they get a card or something from their niece and it's a very special card and it's drawn, you know, five-year-old niece draws a little picture or something and they're holding it up in front of them. And when you take the camera to take the photo because it's a moment you want to capture and you're eye tracking, the camera keeps focusing on the eyes instead of the card when the card is the subject matter. So you ask them to hold the card out as far as possible and then you switch to spot focus, you focus on the card. They're nicely like bokeh in the background, nice and soft and blurry. The card is sharp and you can shoot that like instantly. You don't have to change from autofocus or servo to one shot and all that. It's just two buttons on the back of the camera. So it completely speeds up your workflow. I mean, if you're just shooting headshots for people or you're shooting like a model on the beach or something, there's no sense in using this. But if you're shooting events or you need to switch from tracking eyes to objects really fast, it's a, it's a good little trick. All right, so using the dual rear button autofocus has one issue with it, and depending on who you shoot, what you shoot, how you shoot, it may be a big problem for you, maybe a little problem, maybe nothing at all. So here's the thing. When you're using the traditional eye tracking mode, what happens is you get that box around the eye and it's got these two arrows on either side. So let's say you're shooting three people, there's six eyes in the shot. Those arrows indicate that there are six eyes in the shot and you can quickly use the joystick to shuffle between all the eyes so you can pick the eye that you want the camera to focus on which is a good thing depending, like if you're using an 85 1.2 shooting with a shallow depth of field, you wanna make sure that the front eye or lead eye is the one in focus. So that's the one issue with dual button autofocus. You're kind of at the mercy of the camera. The camera's gonna pick which eye to focus on. Now, in my experience so far, Canon's algorithm is pretty good. It's gonna pick the front eye. So if somebody is like looking this way, it'll take the closer eye instead of the further eye. And I haven't had too many problems with it. So, it, you know, I would say it's a thumbs up, it works, but depending on, like I said, who you shoot, what you shoot, how you shoot, it may be an issue for you, so just something to be aware of. Now, the workaround for that is to program one of the programmable buttons, maybe even the one on the front, the depth of field preview button or whatever, just program that to switch your autofocus mode so you can have your spot focus mode and then you can have your eye tracking mode so you can just hit the button and quickly go back and forth if you need to but uh, yeah those are options there's uh, there's a lot of programmable buttons on Canon cameras which is nice thank you Canon and uh, yeah so that's dual rear button autofocus if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below would really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already my channel is all about photography videography tips tricks tutorials and all that kind of thing so if that's what you're into definitely subscribe to the channel you'll have a lot of fun you'll learn some stuff and I would really appreciate it. So with that being said, uh, one more thing. If you have any questions about this tutorial, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, with that being said, this video is over. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next video.